organic, unpredictable, unknown, lovely, beautiful, a sense of fulfillment. This is part of the pleasures of life and not the chores of life. Thanks for tuning in to your latest edition of Daily Iowan TV, your television news, sports, and weather source for the Daily Iowan. I'm Katie Reber, broadcasting from the Daily Iowan Newsroom. A large tree falling is to blame for more than 2,000 Mid-American Energy customers on Iowa City's north side to be without power Wednesday afternoon. Mid-American Energy crews responded to the scene immediately, but 629 customers were still without power as of Wednesday evening. Mid-American Energy officials do not know what caused the tree to fall. And while the extreme heat and dry conditions this summer has been discomforting to many people, one positive is that it has caused a reduction in one of the most burdensome aspects of summer, mosquitoes. According to a mosquito surveillance study conducted by researchers at Iowa State University, mosquito levels in Iowa are the lowest they've been since 2006 and are at the second lowest level since record keeping began in 1969. This drought has been especially rough on mosquitoes who require water on which to lay their eggs. While the hot and dry conditions we've seen this summer have been detrimental to certain mosquito species, these conditions have been more conducive for other breeds of pesky insects such as spiders, mites, aphids, and trips. You can read more about Iowa mosquito levels in Thursday's edition of the Daily Iowan. And this summer, the Iowa City Farmers Market celebrates its 40th anniversary, beginning this Saturday from 8 a.m. to noon and continuing through the 2012 Farmers Market season. A painting booth will be set up in Chauncey Swan Park so that participants can create market-themed pennants that will be displayed on the Chauncey Swan parking ramp where the Farmers Market is held. The pennants will be displayed throughout the rest of the Farmers Market season, which ends October 31st. And now for your sports update, here's Daily Iowan TV sports reporter Rachel Bedell. The preseason recognitions continue to pour in for the Iowa football team. Senior quarterback James Vandenberg was named the Davey O'Brien National Quarterback Award watch list on Wednesday. The Keokuk, Iowa native is among 34 of the nation's top quarterbacks competing for the prestigious award. Former Hawkeye quarterbacks Chuck Long and Brad Banks received the honor in 1985 and 2002, respectively. Last th season, Vandenberg threw for 3,022 yards and 25 touchdowns, completing 59% of his throws. On Tuesday, ESPN ranked Vandenberg as the second-best quarterback in Big Ten behind Michigan's Denard Robinson. Vandenberg has also been named to the Maxwell Award watch list and is among seven other Hawkeyes who have been named to the various preseason watch lists. In a player on Iowa women's basketball team was arrested for an incident that took place over the weekend. Center Bethany Doolittle is facing charges of public intoxication and providing false information to police. Iowa City Police say they approached Doolittle on the street and asked for her ID. The police statement indicates that Doolittle claims she didn't have an ID and gave police a false name. Doolittle allegedly had a blood alcohol content of .155. She has posted a $600 bond and is pleading not guilty to both charges. Team spokesman Aaron Blue has said head coach Lisa Bluter has not yet commented on Doolittle's status. And Iowa women's soccer coach Ron Rainey has named a new assistant coach. Nick Floor will fill the vacancy left by former assistant coach Shane Meredith, who left Iowa to take the head coach gig at his alma mater, Earl Ham. Floor has coached for Wesleyan University's men team and Tulane University's women's team and has served as the girls' assistant director of coaching at the Ohio Elite Soccer Academy for the past five years. The Hawks are coming off a best season in program history, putting up 13-4-3 record last year. That's your latest sports update. Back to you, Katie. Thanks, Rachel. And only with Daily Iowan TV can you get a sneak peek into Thursday's edition of the Daily Iowan. Here's Daily Iowan Metro reporter Amy Scarnulis as she discusses the article she is working on for tomorrow. My story is about the University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics Junior Volunteer Program. It's a program for high school age students who are interested in a career in health sciences or the medical field. And um, through this program, they're able to experience all different types of possible careers. And they go um, 
they change up their volunteer programs to each different field and also they have seminars weekly where they can experience different areas of it. Um, it is the 30th year of the program and there are 53 students enrolled currently and it is always to full capacity because there is such high interest. You can check out Amy's full article in Thursday's Daily Iwin. And before we leave, let's take a quick look at your local weather forecast. We'll see some showers and thunderstorms beginning Wednesday night, and they should carry on until about midday on Thursday. Expect a high of about 92 during the day, then it should cool down to around 69 Thursday evening. Look at the rest of this week. You can expect highs to hover in the low 90s with sunny skies through the weekend. There's a chance of showers and thunderstorms again early next week. And that's your latest update from Daily Iowan TV. You can check us out anytime online at dailyiowan.com. Thanks for watching and have a great night. You have been watching Daily Iowan TV. Today's news, sports, and weather from the newsroom of the Daily Iowan. You can watch Daily Iowan TV five nights a week on UITV cable at this time or anytime at dailyiowan.com. If you are a University of Iowa student and would like to join the award-winning Daily Iowan TV news team, we invite you to contact News Director Ryan Jones at the email address on your screen or go to dailyiowan.com and click on the Job Ops link at the bottom of the screen.